Good morning, it's Sunday. Numari and I went out to breakfast this morning and we sat next to a family that was Latino and it totally made me think of my students because they were reading, it was taking them forever to order and I noticed that the oldest son was reading the whole menu to his mom and translating and they figured out that she didn't know how to read English and I was wondering if maybe she couldn't even read in Spanish because he was also translating the Spanish menu items and that made me think of some of my students. Like That's the role they're going to be in. A lot of their parents don't speak English. I teach English learners, I teach newcomers, and that's gonna be their role in their families. I wanna make sure that I'm teaching them enough English to be able to do that. And I don't practice real world English speaking. Like We don't practice how to order off a menu in my class because that's not what's in my curriculum. When I taught adult English learners like, oh my God, it was like a million years ago, I'll just say that. That's all we practice. I remember teaching them, um, what was it? Not skinny jeans. It was boot cut jeans. Low rise boot cut jeans were super in at the time. That'll give you a hint about how long ago it was. And we practiced like going to the mall and saying, do you have any boot cut jeans? Because that's what they wanted to do. But I don't teach those things to my kids. So I'm going to try next year. I keep saying I'm going to try all these things in my class, but that's motivation me to try to put some real world English in a little bit more. And also to make sure that I'm really teaching them to read because they might be the only English speaker in their families or only English reader maybe so motivation by the way we're at a beautiful not beautiful I live in Southern California Inland Empire it's dry here I'd say beautiful it was all green but we're in a nice little walking trail and we were out checking things out and we saw this bird who looked like an owl and I was trying to get Nuari to see the birds and she was kind of going tweet 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 well this guy we were tweet tweeting him he flew over and sat on a post right next to us and was like squawking up a storm i think he was saying get out of here but my god he was gone if he was like a owl falcony type thing i couldn't quite tell what he was but it was a really cool experience to find a little bit of nature even though we are in the suburbs right now hi it's monday nuari and i are out doing a little errand running and we went to a thrift store and found some books we got books from my classroom don't touch, she says hi. I'm always excited about this one, that's a good deal. I like to get Gary Soto because it's a um, Latino. Good for my kids. Got books for my kids. This one I think is kind of cool because it has pictures in it. I thought it might be too little for them, but then I thought the pictures would help the English learners. Nuari, I want you to know she picked out Llama Llama, and I picked out this one for her, so yeah. We are having a good day. We spent a grand total of like $7.50 and got a bunch of books from my room. It was kind of fun. Monday night I forgot to mention something from this morning my mom called this morning and she was like almost crying I was like mom what's wrong she said that she was at work and she got a delivery with a giant bouquet of flowers and a champagne bottle I was like what let me rewind though my mom is retiring this week after teaching at the same preschool for about 15 years but she's been in the same community teaching since I was four she has had hundreds of two-year-olds kids go through her classroom she's potty trained a whole bunch of them helped their parents she's had a couple families loop through she's had a few generations come through so she's retiring and like retiring i feel like there isn't a bunch of fanfare they had a little thing at the preschool where she works but it wasn't that much well the bouquet and champagne bottles today were inviting her to be the grand marshal of our hometown's parade next month and i started crying too because Teachers don't get that celebration that often with their retirement. They just kind of get sent off into the sunset, maybe a little party, a little scrapbook or something. But I feel like the Grand Marshals, a really well-deserved celebration of all the years that she has spent giving to the kids in that community. So of course we're going to go. She gets to take my nieces with her in the little car and she's all excited. Um, Nuari doesn't get to go because she's too tiny and doesn't fit. Um, She's tiny doesn't fit. There's not enough seats for her to go. So we'll be watching from the sidelines, but I'm really proud of my mom. I'm excited. Both my parents are teachers. I think I've said that before. My dad's a high school shop teacher. He's actually had some kids, many kids. My mom has potty trained <laughs> come through his high school shop class. S promise you one boy once upon a time said, hey, your wife wiped my butt. Mm -hmm. 
that's what happens when you teach two year olds how to use the potty and how to do a million, million other like skills like circle time and making crafts and getting along and pretend play and playing outside, all those things she's been teaching kids. In fact, I've also said to my kids a few times, this was when I was a younger teacher and I was kind of rude, I've said, my mom can get two year olds to come into class and sit down. Like, what's wrong with you? Now I know it's what's wrong with me. My mom's just a better teacher than I am. It's not that the kids were better than my mom's two year olds or that the two year olds are better than the high schoolers. It's really that my mom's a better teacher than me. I need to take her skills and put them into my middle school class. So, proud of my mom. Morning, it's Tuesday. Nuari and I just spent a little bit of time working on our garden and our compost. I didn't put these on my vlogs because one time ago, but I had this like big thing. I was like, oh, we're going to start a garden. It's going to be great. Then I slowly got it started. Nuari helped clear the rocks. Then the dogs decided it was theirs. Our temp fence didn't work. Nishanda and I built this little fence. And then it was going again. We got our little seedlings in. Then a gopher came through. There goes all of our seeds. So it's been a journey. It's already almost July and we... All we have are, well, the mandarin tree down there is doing gorgeous and the lemon tree, but those have been there um, and the sprouting basil bush. But anyways, um, we're going to come back on Thursday and we're going to plant all of these guys. I was trying to get them all from seeds because it's cheaper and I wanted to be all like, I can do it. No. I have a couple going from seeds and then a couple that Nuhari's babysitter actually like, took things and kind of grew them in water and so we planted those. But um, so Thursday... We'll get all these guys going. We have cucumbers in there, peppers, tomatoes. Oh, speaking of tomatoes, one of our tomato plants is really good. Look, let me walk down. This little guy did survive. Look at him. Hold on, let me go down. This little guy did survive from a seed. That's our best tomato plant. And he actually smells like tomatoes and that's really exciting. Pomegranate trail, the pomegranates got blown off, so. Oh, we'll show you the mandarin tree. It's really good. Huh, bug. We're gonna go for a walk later. We'll take one of the dogs with us. And then you are gonna have a nice girls' day plan. Look, our mandarin tree is gorgeous. Like, it's loaded. But that we planted last year. Our lemon, I'll just show you everything. The lemon tree is having a rough, rough time. It's look. Oh, he's sad. But there's some little lemons on there. And this guy actually, even though he didn't get a lot of nutrients last year, actually produced a few lemons. That was our Christmas tree, by the way. That's another issue I need to deal with. So we'll come back to this. Right now we're going to go for a walk and we're going to go do some ceramics later. chill day today. I didn't make it to yoga because my yoga instructor is on vacation. Oops. I, at least I remembered before I went. Um, I've been watching on social media a lot of ISTE though and I tried to go on Twitter like trying to pull out some information. You know what I saw more than anything? Selfies and socializing. And come to think of it, that's what I do a lot when I'm at conferences too. It's okay bug. We're in a minute. And um, Wow, wouldn't it be nice if somebody came up with something that allowed teachers to socialize and hang out together without costing a lot of money? Hmm, that's a really good idea. I have something up my sleeve. By the way, I think this just showed up on the end of the last clip. No, it's not a tattoo. Nishanta drew on me with Sharpie. I can't stand it. He does it all summer. <laughs> Could be worse, huh? It's Wednesday. We're heading somewhere super fun. We're at the San Diego County Fair. We are chilling in the shade, relaxing a little. This is Shanta's first time at the fair. It's Niwari's first time at the fair. You think it, are you happy or are you saying happy? She's saying happy. Just kidding. Say fish? Good job. You like everything. When I was little, my 
family owned a small turkey farm. True fact, we run the news for it. Super red, like East County raised turkey. And I look at the camera because I make sure she doesn't try to pet these guys. Turkey? Gobble, gobble, gobble. You want a pony? Yeah? <laughs> it's after six. We did a pony ride. We pet all the animals. We went in the petting zoo. She went on the carousel. We've had a great day. We just walked the vendor halls. She crashed out. I carried her and rocked her to sleep. She's had an awesome day, but no fair food for her. All she's had is. All she's had is uh, like PB and J and raisins and my healthy food. baby. Bugga, we're done? <laughs> She's tired. Do you have a good day, Nishanta? Yeah. <laughs> Kango? Where's Kango? <laughs> Kango, do you have a good day? Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. You're welcome. Look at the entranceway. Oh, that's pretty like sunset, huh? Okay, bye. Uh, good morning. It's Wednesday. I can't even look at myself in this hat. This hat. Nishanta and I were in Palm Springs um, for a Q conference, and we went in this like uh, Mexican, uh, like a uh, cowboy shop. And he decided he needed this hat, and he was very excited that he talked to guys at a good price. Mm. I need to work in the garden, and my shoulders have seen a lot of sun the last couple days. I thought I had like one of those big farmer hat, like gardener hats, but I don't. So this is what I'm rocking today. I'm in the garage, which this. That's another project that's happening like tomorrow, I don't know, it's happening another day. Um, I got my seeds. My goal is to get them ready to go in the garden today. The dogs are out here. It's really windy, which is why I'm in the garage right now. So we've got to get all of this tackled. I have to get, this section's pretty good. I've got to go down there. There's a whole section I'll show you that's full of weeds. So, which, oh, Hank with um that was the dog all of these sections i already like pulled up the dirt and everything this section though look oh man yeah i got a lot to do oh look can you see let me see if i can get you in do you see that ladybug you get the camera right do you see that you cute little ladybug yeah i'm gonna have to rehome him those weeds are going they're growing wild because our neighbors have a beautiful garden let me see if i can show you our neighbor's garden is gorgeous <laughs> Oh, there's other neighbors and uh let me see i'm gonna try ready i hope that worked i hope you saw it but anyways their water comes over to our yard so that's great but i got to dig up all this dirt put in the soil just this section and then we're gonna plant all those seeds Newari's babysitter is gonna help me I uh, tried to do it all myself and I was all OCD and my plants all died, so I'm going with her strategy instead. I will check in later. When I was in high school, we had a dirt softball field, super mountain girl style, um, no grass, all dirt, outfield, infield, everything dirt. And every day before practice, we had to go pick rocks. We had to take our gloves, especially at the beginning of the season, and pick rocks. So. I'm still picking rocks. When I was a JV coach, I had to tell my girls to pick rocks. I had to pick rocks in high school. Now I'm an adult spending my summer picking rocks. Okay, it's been three hours. I got everything in. The dirt's all picked up, the rocks are out. I installed a soaker hose. I tore out a basil bush. I used the like pickaxe. I'm so buff. I got it all done. So those plants still are on the ground, but that'll come, that'll come. <laughs> Day morning, can you hear the trash trucks going? 
We're gonna plant these seeds and our little baby plants today. I found a little pocket of time to sneak out of the house and get some work done. Not as much as I would like. I keep thinking like I'm gonna get a ton of work done over break. It doesn't happen and I'm trying to like balance and find nooks so like while I was working today I was like blasting some techno. It's what I used to do when I was a year advisor. The kids taught me that trick so I was like blasting it, writing frantically, trying to get something. I have the computer up but like it's more as a resource. I'm totally a paper girl planning things out. Um, I'm all about the tech, but I've learned that I write and process ideas better, especially outlining on paper. So I'll get some ideas down to share with you guys. Nuari and I are out running errands. We have a bunch of shopping today. And we made a turn and we were like rerouted through some areas. It's like a neighborhood we hadn't been in, and we just found the coolest place. Ready? Okay, let's go. Nuari, go in. Come on, let's go. What do you see? Come on this way, this way. Let's go. Come on. How pretty is this? Look. We just get to walk around. So this place was actually on a like a bucket list I had of places I wanted to go to, but I didn't even know where it was. And here it is. Wow, huh? It's so pretty. So our day didn't start so well today. She spilled an entire, probably half cup of turmeric on the floor, played in it, ruined her really nice shoes that I love, almost ruined her outfit, got it on me, the tile floor, everything. And um, so this was a good, adjustment to our day huh much better right here smell this one. Oh, find another oh 